This is Mr. Hanrahan. I'm the librarian. I'm here to give you an introduction to Sora. It used to be Overdrive. These are the directions you'll have access to. The icon here for Sora. It might be in your self-service. One of the first things you need to do after you have tried to find Sora, the Sora app, is to connect Township High School District 214. So if it doesn't automatically find your school for you, you should search for District 214. And after you've uh, selected 214 as your school, because Wheeling High School is part of District 214, you put in your net ID and password. It's your uh, first name, first initial, last name, last four digits, and your password. It's the same as Infinite Campus. It's the same as uh, Schoology, your email. After you've logged in, you can see your profile, profile on the side. If you'd like to add a library, you can add your public library, whether it's one close by, like Indian Trails or Mount Prospect, Prospect Heights, anywhere you have a library card, even if it's in another place, uh, because your parents or guardian lives somewhere else and you have a library card you can use, you can add a library and find a book that way. There's a lot of settings over here that you can go into and change if you'd like. There's also uh, collections of books with ideas and they're here with um, Asian Pacific Islanders um, celebrating them right now. We also have um, audiobooks in here besides ebooks and I think it's also important to know the preferences that you can look at all the books we have or just the books that are available now. You can also look in any language and you can look um, by searching. I can put in the word culture. And when I put in culture, I get a bunch of results. You could browse through these results. And then you could also uh, pick a book. Like I know this one is a nonfiction book about a girl's life from South Africa. There's all this is the fiction book about um, a girl and her brother from Nigeria and um, this is a this would perfectly fit the assignment when you're ready to borrow the book you hit the word borrow and it'll automatically download to your shelf as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi obviously and then you can open the book but you only have it for like 28 days or so and on the side here you can see the number of copies that are available if you're interested in listening, you could also change your preference and you could change your format. It already says there's 172 ebooks and 45 audiobooks, but under preference, I could change it automatically to only look up audiobooks or only look up ebooks. And then if you were to find one in here, like this nonfiction one about uh, the time during the Holocaust and this librarian, you can see these headphones. You can hit the word borrow. And you could listen to this 13-hour book and 39-minute book um, through your electronic device. Hopefully, this will help you access Sora. Thank you. And if you have any questions, you can email me at barry.hanrahan at d214.org.